Holy crap. Can you see rice? Look at that plastic. Look at that plastic. What a piece of... This is what exam time looks like. There's that sheet I made yesterday. I got a piece of scrap paper, a pen, a non-smart calculator, some cider, and three minutes and 25 seconds until I'm scheduled to begin. So I have three minutes and 25 seconds to burn. Well, it's 11.42. It's supposed to be 11.45. Let's see if we can read that. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Let's try that again. There it is. So we'll be beginning this shortly. I got a call from Dave Walter about 20 minutes ago. My parts arrived. I don't remember if I told you guys. I ordered that little mud flap that's missing. Um, I've always, I actually didn't notice it was missing until maybe the spring. I don't really remember noticing it at all. Um, these little things that come down about that far below at the end of the rocker panel in front of the rear wheel. So I ordered one of those for $7. I'm going to pick that up today passenger front door seal I ordered because mine's cracked and it's probably the original and it's in bad shape. So we'll get that in. That'll be a video. And then the trunk light that I've broken and had to replace twice now. And I feel so stupid for doing that already knowing it's a bad part to begin with. But I was in a hurry to put it in and I clipped it in, I guess, too hard and it broke. So that was $14 or something like that. So I'm going to go pick those three parts up when I'm done with this. Probably 1230, 1245-ish. Um, work on that video and then I've got two yards to mow the one across the street he paid me for the beginning he paid me at the beginning of, of October for four cuts and I've done three so it's probably gonna be the last one of the year uh, I don't have to get it done in October but uh, I may get it done in November and then over there on the other side of the house by the garage I gotta do that one and this looks like it's ready so now we get to click on go even though it's not 1145 yet so it tests my equipment, tests camera, microphone, connectivity, and for flash. Looks like all of those are there. We will grant access to that stuff. Uh, step one, click to download. All right. It's got a support thing. You guys are going to get to learn with me today. This is going to be the chat. So that's how I talk with the proctor. Uh, click continue. Okay, we're done with that. Install and run. And then they want to authenticate with photo ID. So we'll do that. I'll talk to you after the exam. All right, guys, for the vlog, just picked up my parts, parked next to the white F10 there, brand new. Do a little, little walk around here, see what they got. Still have the 435 and 428 over there. And there's an E92 M3. But I'm going to walk down this way. I know I saw at least one other M3. A couple of E65s here, and full ones. There's a pre owned E60 for 16 grand. So one series, there's one of the M3s, it's an E93 with a six-speed, I know that M6 is still here. They have the new white M6 over here. Um, I don't see that red M5, which Kenan said was at Dave Walter, and I'm at Dave Walter and it is not here. So maybe that's back over to Volkswagen or somebody bought it. Poor soccer. Windows are down, look at that. It's about time. It feels like it's, uh oh, I hit off. It feels like it's been months when in actuality it's only been maybe one month, a couple weeks, not even that with windows up. But it's 66 degrees, uh, which is beautiful. Not a cloud in the sky. It's been a really nice day, which uh, explains why tomorrow we're going to pay for that. It's going to rain all day and drop a few degrees and then more rain Friday. So. Everything's gonna get messy here, but hey, I'm gonna enjoy this today. I'm gonna go home. I just got my parts, as you know, so I'll probably throw some of those on. And it's only 2.30, uh, so if I should choose to, I've got mowing I can do. Anybody know this song? Be happy. Don't worry, be happy. I died. Okay, so now that we're home, I uh, told you I got the light in. I would love to put the glove, the, here's the box, by the way. Look at this. This is what they put. I'm gonna line it up on the back of the car. You know how big a 5 Series is, right? Jeez. Seriously? A box that big for this. I expected that it would come fairly tightly curled up. 
in, uh, I don't know, perhaps like a rubber bag, like every other BMW, or a plastic bag, like every other BMW part that you buy. Anyways, this is the mud flap. Did not come with screws, and I don't have the screws, and I don't think he drilled the holes in the rocker for the screws, if they're supposed to screw into the rocker, I don't know. Now he told me to get it, and bring it in there, and he would put it in there for me. So I guess I'll do that on my way home from Kent tomorrow, and hope that gets done right. The light is done, it's right there, it works beautifully. And here's the door seal. This whole thing I now have to fit there. And I'm gonna do an E39 source video so you can learn and watch that. Welcome back to vlog land. It's about 12 o'clock, I think. I'm just pulling stuff out of my trunk I don't need. That's the mud flap. I'll take that over to that guy tomorrow on my way home from Kent who did the uh, body work and see if you can throw that on there for me. Here's the old seal. I don't remember how much I filmed of that process for the vlog, but uh, I did get that done. Looks really good and there's no holes in it tears in it so that's the old one I'm gonna be throwing that out there's the box that I put it in I think I showed you that it's huge trunk trim still not in the car waiting for the sand to dissipate anytime I open it after I've driven it a while therefore it shakes around as you drive it I get these little pieces of sand that come down so I could give it a couple days another week or two and it should all come down then I'll just throw that back in it takes two minutes so I gotta prepare an invoice now for October mowing next door I'm gonna get that sent out because I can use money um, so hopefully I'll get that soon. Now, like 10 days ago, I mowed at the house across the street and uh, east one, one house. And I usually stop by after and collect my money. I stopped by and they weren't home. And then I noticed that the neighbor next door to them, a further house, has been coming over every day and collecting their mail. So they're obviously not home. I haven't seen any cars. The garage door's been shut. There's zero lights on. Usually they have porch lights on all night. So. They're out of town for who knows how long. I've been waiting for them to get back. It's been like 10 days, I want my money. And they're not home, so I'm still waiting on that. That's about it today. I'm gonna get in tomorrow at 11, get that exam done, 11.30, 12, something like that, and be done with it. Today's is done, we're gonna finish that up tomorrow. The advising, I can't do tomorrow. It's only a Tuesday and Wednesday thing, and I couldn't do it today because I had to go to Dave Volter and pick up parts and take that other exam. So next Tuesday or Wednesday, I'll get in there. I have until November 18th, I think I checked. It's either the 16th or the 18th to get that done, so we'll definitely do that, and then we'll be all set. We're almost at the weekend already. One exam, one miserable hour of sitting there and writing stuff in a blue book, and then I am all done. So, I'm gonna go in, do my shower, do my normal stuff, prepare that invoice, and I'll speak with you guys tomorrow on the last day of my week. Hopefully your week too. It's nice seven Fridays off. All right, have a good night.